What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. This is Eccentric Rockstar Seed. I have another intuitive message. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Aries. I hear consistent flow. Your colors are going to be like fire colors, like the red and the orange hues of fire colors. The totem of air, like you want a consistent flow. Is a, I hear stamina. You got great stamina and moving, propelling forward. Doesn't matter what's going on. What what challenges are made? 20% already. I just want to be at 20% today. Stamina. Okay. That's what I see. Like you said, I see somebody running and they have a consistent flow. And they, they, they do it for a good 70 minutes long. But it's not a fast run. It's not too slow. It's a stamina. Barely break a sweat. These would be really tall. I feel like I'm channeling uh, men, Aries men, or with their Aries placement in the men for masculine energy for women. I don't know why I hear Capricorn. Masculine Luna. Hmm. Something with the moon phases. I saw that in my third eye. Eater of peaches. I, it gives me that savage. You got a flow. Like you. This is a obviously a, a person who's who's tapped in spiritually. Okay. Why is there a pine? There are pine trees. So you could be in Colorado, or somewhere where there's a lot of snow. But I see. It gives, it gives me Prince vibes. Now I look at the picture with those those pine trees. Okay. So this is Eater of Peaches, Aries. This is somebody who just got you just you just got that I don't wanna say it. People know that you're hot. People know that you all that. And the bag of chips. People know that you, you you come with a lot reflection you make people reflect or you take the time to reflect okay but people are definitely celebrating you you're in a, a praiseworthy energy one of respect like don corleone they call him godfather out of affection out of a term of endearment what's the lunar masculine lunar is this somebody who's who works really well with the moon cycles what do you need to release? Reflection. Yep. Waning moon. It's like I saw that people, places, and things, they only want me for my energy. So I stopped talking to them. I started writing stuff down. Now you got it in the bag. You got a flow going. But nobody could ever really stop your flow. It's just drama was trying to follow you. Confidence is your key. That's what it is. So you may have Leo in your chart. Your hard work is... I told you I saw Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. That Capricorn energy is that stamina. Don't nobody want to fight with you. Because they know they're not going to win. But there's been a transformation. Because you got butterflies. You can have a master's degree in psychology. You can have... Uh, successful entrepreneurial style business you can have political people on your on your payroll this speaks to people on a broad platform somebody who's strong in the community strong asset to the community you could be from a small town but as a great asset to that small town like you're a person who saw this practically and strategically at a younger age so take you say you're a mature person a person of mature age, maybe like your 40s or something, you as a late teen going into your early 20s saw this. You very observant child. You could be very wise. You could have, you could be one of those children who is very tapped into their ancestry, very tapped into their culture, their their family, the cult, their culture, but their family bloodline. So you're very connected with your great uncles, grandfathers, father, um, 
people who came before you and you're very connect emotionally connected with the psychology of them with how they move and how they establish things for themselves again with the pine trees you see that with the snow you saw this somebody who lives somewhere where it does snow where it's cold or it could be snowing where somebody's at right now or could have recently snowed where they're at right now or you're just embracing the winter okay and confidence is your key but you've been working so you haven't been going out and partying and socializing as much on a personal level, but you have been networking on a professional level, and your hard work is paying off. You can have Leo in your chart, as well as Capricorn. But I feel like with the Capricorn, it's just talking about your discipline and your. it's talking about karma. It's talking about Saturn. And, all, and you look at how the men did it before you. That's what this feels like to me. It's how the men did it before you. How they established themselves in society. Made a name for their family. But they, you took it a step further. And made mo more of a name for yourself. As well as your family. But your family already has a strong. Has a good status in society. Has a strong name. In business. So you're strong in culture and in business, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, very praiseworthy energy. This is the death of transformation. So hello, you know, out with the petty and into deep reflection. People only want you for your spiritual gain, your knowledge, okay? You see how this person is very tapped in. And this person has a, the skull is like the wisdom, the ancestral wisdom that comes with this person and you can look up to someone who just so happen to be a woman of color and if you look at the people you see her she has hijab these are different people from different walks of life they're very different people from walks of life so you could be a lot like the person you look up to this could be you reflecting on why the people you've met, sometimes people do an analysis, especially with the full moon and Virgo that just passed. You could have Virgo in your in your immediate chart, like your moon, your Mars could be. But what I want to say is you could be reflecting on the people that you've come and count, you've encountered over time, like people you got to meet. And it's a lot of gratitude because you're you're reflecting and you're teaching you learn you're learning it taught you where you still need to grow you could have also taught that person where they they still need to grow you could be in that celebratory energy because congratulations you got you you released you could have been a self-sabotaging type of person like your own worst critic or you could have been talking yourself out of a lot of uh, great opportunities that could have you know landed you a lot of abundance but what you've come to realize is your time didn't pass. It goes back to that mature age, feeling like I could have made these decisions half half a dec you know, two decades ago, three decades ago, and I probably would be further along. Now you're where you are where you're supposed to be. You're coming into that that innate wisdom where you realize it doesn't matter the age. The age is those are human years. But spiritually, you know, you're very youthful in spirit, if not wasted on the young. So it doesn't matter if you're 54, 44, you know, just because you're not 24 or 34 that you feel out of the loop. I don't know, not necessarily somebody's loop, like you don't want to belong in nobody's cult division, but that's not even your energy. You walk to the beat of your own drum, but you also want to be made, You that respect, that pride, that respect, it goes a long way. So what you have released is insecurities that made you feel like what if i'm not good enough it goes back to that virgo energy about feeling like you're not good enough but you transmuted that energy this is pluto energy you're a lot like your your partner sign your scorpio scorpio you embody in that scorpio energy where it's like whoever that person was is dead and gone this I can transmute into anybody I need to, and now you, 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 you eat peaches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
That's, that's like show me my opponent kind of energy. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. You build something real solid for yourself. It took some time. You're embracing that winter. You see how he's, he's watering his crop. You know, elephants are, they, they don't forget. They have very photographic memory. Elephants are very wise, too. And uh, elephants also fear mice. So you release a lot of people who just want to dime you out for a capital gain that is very cheap. They sold themselves out for a cheap a cheap price. I told you, pennies on a dollar. Okay. There's no such thing as somebody celebrating your downfall. You got way too much stamina. Okay. And then you waited for all of that to grow. That that something with these trees and something with the cold and something with embracing the winter. I hope this is making sense. Because you're starting to get recognition for other things. Oh, three. I'm not going to take all these cards, but this flipped over. Three of swords. You know, somebody left you for dead. You know, you went, you could have, like, fell down or something. And you went to reach up. And the person act like they were extending their help. And just slapped your hand. And here we go. Six of Wands. That's that's true. Uh, Ten of Wands. You felt burdened. Alienated. Out of place. You felt starved. You felt deprived. But the owl is in here. So wisdom. You relied on wisdom. It's like you don't... One thing you learned about people. And this is a... This could be... This is a psychology major. One thing you learn about people when they... When you say nothing, it manipulates them to say everything. Okay? But you have praiseworthy energy. I'm going to put this, this card, the Scorpio card, and this this Leo card. Couple, like you, 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 you're you in that, I worked hard for this. That stamina, it goes back to that stamina. You see in the background, the track star, your ancestry. It's like they, you tapped into your higher self. You tapped in, like you, maybe you spoke to some relatives, or you just remember how your relatives would have handled a dynamic like this like what would they have done what they what did they teach me okay i see various of cultures i see latin i see french okay i see african Knight of Cups. charming 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 you as a young man because knights are, are youth or are younger energy, younger man energy. I told you, youth is, youth is not wasted on the young. Okay. You see these horns? It's just everything with horns on it gives me that ram energy. That ram energy. That may not be a ram, but I see it's safari cat energy. And then you got Rafiki with you with the owl. It's like this is a this is this is you embracing the winter. It's like you. You got wise. You got hit to people's, to what people were doing, and you dropped those burdens. That's that's for you. That's not for me. I don't know. They kind of presented it like it's a gift to you, but it was just burdens. You know, burdens and burdens and burdens. Or somebody was presented as a gift to you. You could have been introduced to somebody. You could have met somebody while networking or just partying. Six of Wands is celebratory energy and just partying, being in that energy. You met, you attracted somebody who this was good for nothing, as it turned out, because they didn't, they wanted to take from you. They weren't trying to build with you. Pardon my congestion. A magician, strong manifester. When you go into retreat or you isolate yourself, you go introverted, you go real quiet. All the while, people are just buzzing around you, just talking, running their mouth, not knowing, not really knowing what you're doing, but they're taking that opportunity to, you know, get some, some licks in at, at your expense. 
thinking that they left you burdened nonetheless you know that red is really significant and so is that green okay your heart space was challenged your passion your spirit was challenged nonetheless you already have the tools inside of you that's why you showed up like this that, that eater of peaches that, that lunar masculine energy you don't sit down and cry about anything that does not go your way you get right you never sit down to have to get back up you just keep right on going and that sun is in there as well that's significant like all your days are bright and sunny even when you're having a winter a cold moment an early winter okay so winter could have come some challenges could have come unbeknownst to you but you didn't falter you a person of integrity ace of wands somebody tried to offer you present something to you like it was a gift but it was burdened you know but you being the magician you being having that magician energy not like magic but like having the gifts to having the talent the tricks the trade you know you're just beautiful inside out okay you took this what people thought they were trying to play with you with they didn't know what to do with it they they were sitting on a gold mine and had no idea and they gave it to you not knowing this about you and you turn all this into a big harvest that's why you're able to eat peaches you have abundance like you turned all of this into something real big for yourself your hard work has paid off. it's going to pay off it is paying off you know this is what you did with it it's like okay this is what i can do let me see what i can do you're very modest you don't tell people your hand you just show up you just show up and you got the respect and this is uh your dreams your intuition could be secrets as well you know you got some hyenas right here so some people did try to it's clear you know someone tried to play with you but it's also clear that never try to study me because you're not going to graduate they can copy you but they cannot steal your creativity a win-win is on the is, is in the forecast libra it's like when you love something you don't let it go but that was their mistake number the first five mistakes from them is they didn't know how your heart was set up that's why i said that green is significant you could be decorating your home or just like playing with different hues of greens different style green plants you could be placing them around your house you know for for energy for fresh air fresher air oxygen i mentioned something about allergies did i say that okay just take time you took the time to breathe out it's about relax accept it pardon yourself from it excuse yourself from it and just peacefully move on and that's what you did and you still didn't say a word when your success came as your success came you didn't go back and and throw hit hit you know you didn't go back to the people and say yeah you thought you got on top you thought you had one up on me but i got one up on you you didn't do anything petty like that people are, and they're the same people that's in love with you now because of your integrity man of integrity abundance yeah they knew then what they know now yeah they didn't know your face they challenged i told you i said that earlier they challenged your spirit that's what the red your heart and your spirit they challenged your manhood and they challenged your spirit and that purple those are like purple hues in here deep purples too like your deep intuition a person of many talents you're a man of many talents but you're not crooked about it gratitude that's what the, that's what it's all about i should name this video you just you taught them a lesson about gratitude and that transformation is real with these butterflies here that's how you're able to celebrate or people or you're being celebrated and you got the crown see that that crown right there and your flowers that pink rose could be a mother because that pink is significant you see that pink she's wearing a lot of pink and then you look in this picture, it's butterflies in both. And then you have that pink flower right there.
Yeah, my mother did did me right. <clears throat> That's why I can hear somebody saying that. If it wasn't for my mother, ain't nothing like her. It's nothing like my mother. My mother could have been an Aries. All right. So the, the whole moral of all of this is you taught them a lesson of gratitude through patience, faith, and integrity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until... That is just beautiful. There you go. I'm trying to show you everything. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Until next time.